the first thing that I notice is that negative 3 is the same base for every single number inside this large bracket. So I tackle this one first. And we know using the exponent law, you can add the same exponent if you're multiplying. So I did 7 plus 4 with a base of negative 3. And then over here, you can multiply it to get 12, which is negative 3 to the exponent of 12. But this will always stay negative. And then this is what I get. So it'll be a base of negative 3 with 11 and then 3 to the exponent of 12. And then you have a big, after the big bracket, you have negative 3. And then you bring it down all the way here. And to divide, um, well, I took out the negative sign over here because it doesn't really matter since you're always going to get a negative number because it's an odd exponent. So then these two negatives cancel out. And then I uh, subtracted the exponents because I'm dividing. So I did 11 minus 12, which leads me to negative 3 to the exponent of negative 1. And then I have the bigger bracket. And then on the outside, I have negative 3. And then over here, uh, I flipped it because um, to get the positive exponent of negative 1, I have to make it into a fraction. And I still have the negative 3. And I flipped it again so that it would be 3 to the power of 3 over 1. So I get 1 over another fraction of 1 over 3, which is 27. And then to divide 1 by the fraction of 1 over 27, I multiplied it to get 27. Very good. I love what you did here with the negative signs. Oh, thank you. Right, good observation. Here, isn't this just power of a power? Yeah. Can you multiply I them? Have multiplied it and then you just get it to 27. It's fine. It took you a long time. It took you a long time. It took you a long time, but it's okay. You got the right answer. It's just you did the long, long way. It's fine. It's good. Okay. Oh, and then over here, um, Whoa, what did, oh, okay, so I used bed mass and I opened up the brackets, so um, it would be negative 2 to the power of 3, so that's what I did there. And then x to the power of negative 2 is already there, but to get rid of this bracket, I multiplied it by 3 again, and then I solved this, which is 36x. Uh, x squared because you have to open up the brackets 6 to the power of 2 x to the power of 2 and then for the bottom I multiply this together negative 1 and 3 oh wait did I do something wrong I think I did which is supposed to be negative 3 hmm? is that a negative 1 I think I did something no no the negative 1 is the exponent for the x oh it's okay, don't panic. Okay. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, because I opened up the bracket again. Okay. Um, I did negative 3x. Oh, negative 3 multiplied by the exponent of 3. And then x negative 1 to the exponent of 3, which is that. And then uh, over here, I opened it up. So then I solved for the exponent, which is negative 8. And then I multiply these together, which is x equals negative, oh, x to the exponent of negative 6. This is 36. I don't know why I separated them, but okay. It's a good idea. It's fine. And then fine. over here, I solve for that, or negative 3 to the power of 3. And then x, oh, that's a negative 3. There we go. And then over here, Oh, I multiply negative and, eight and 36, and then the x has the same base, so I could just add them together. And then over here, neg 2 multiplied by negative 27, and then x negative 3. Oh, and then I multiply these together again. And then that's what I got after simplifying this. And then over here, I simplify the numbers, and then... Oh, I subtracted it to get x to negative 1 because these have the same base. And then afterwards, 
Oh, to get rid of this negative exponent here, I did the use the exponent law. So then I put one on top of one over two to the exponent of one, and I solved it. And this is what I got. Thank you. <laughs>